Hi everybody, my name is Arthur and welcome to another Pixel Pad tutorial. We are coding our space shooter game. We have our spaceship, we have enemies coming from the top. We can shoot those enemies and down here on the left side, we can see our score. And that's what we did last class, but this class we're going to do something different with the score. I don't want to display my score on the uh, console window because that's just not uh, useful for us. It would be better if we could see the score inside the actual game, right? So that's what we are going to do today. All right, so the way we are displaying the score is here on the, where is it? On the player? No, on the bullet. Yeah, here on the bullet, we check collisions between ourselves, that is the bullet and the enemy. And if that happens, we take the enemy that has collided with us because we have many enemies in the game, right? So we have to know which enemy has collided with us. We destroy that enemy and then we increase our score in one and we print score column space plus the game score, right? And this print function here is what prints for us our score here in the console window. So instead of doing this, we're going to display the score inside the game. And to do that, we have to go on the game class. And here on the game class, I will create a variable to store the score text. So I can say game.score txt, or let's go for text. It's just one letter from text. So uh, game.score text will be equals and here we can create a new text. So I can say new text like this. And this will give us a new text already. But I have to say what is going to be displayed on this text. So I can say, for example, score zero and where this, this text is going to be displayed. So if I just say zero and zero, you can see nothing. That's because our score text actually is being displayed in black. So we cannot see the text here. So let's change the score text color. I can say game.scoreText.color. I need a dot color. So the color of the score text inside my game will now be, let's say red, for example. Stop and play my game. And there is my score. You can see that it's displayed on the position zero, zero. So zero, zero would be around here. So my text, as you can see, is aligned on the left. So the left side of my text is on the position zero, zero, right? Okay, so I don't want to display my text uh, right in the middle of my game. I want to display my score. Actually, I'll bring it to the top left here. So let's bring this to the top left and we can do that just by changing these two numbers here. So the first number, let's see if I put 150 here, this should be for the X value, right? So I press play, you can see that it moved 150 pixels to the right. I don't wanna go to the right, I wanna go to the left. So let's add a minus over there. And now you can see that it went to the left, but it's still too far from where I want to go. So let's try maybe minus 400 closer minus 600 okay that's more or less where I want it now I just have to bring it up so do we use minus is that it so minus 200 for example let's try no this brings it down so I cannot use minus here I will use just a positive number so 200 is closer to what I want let's try 300 okay that's good enough for now, because I still think this score is too small. We could make it bigger, the, the, the text, the font size. So we can change the font size as well. So to change the font size, everything you have to do is say game dot uh, score text dot font size. And this will be equal to something. So let's try 30. Press play and it's not that different. Let's try 50. Oh, now it's bigger. Now you can see some different and I'll bring this up a little bit. So 
320 maybe 330 maybe okay that's that looks better to me but you can see that when we defeat our enemies my score tags don't, don't update right it's still zero there it's not showing any other number that's because we have to update the score text instead of print the score here so let's stop the game and let's go there on our bullet on the loop tab and instead of I print score colon space plus my game score instead of I print this I don't want this to be printed anymore I want this to replace my score text right so to do that I will just add a new line here but we are gonna delete this line soon and what I have to do here I have to say that my game dot score text dot text so whatever is written on my score text now will be replaced for what so I have to replace for this I want to display score colon space plus game score I could just say game score here but then it would display just a number for me right I don't want that I want to display score colon space and my game score so I I can say the same thing here I say score colon space plus and we have to use the str right if you remember from last class you know what this str means we are we are uh, we are transforming this number this is a, a number right the game score is a number into a string so I do score colon space plus string and my game dot score and you can see that now if I press play my game and I defeat an enemy now our score starts to update which is good that's what we want but we don't want the score being displayed being printed here for us on the console tab anymore so I'll go ahead and delete this line that we say print score plus string game score I deleted the line stop and play my game again and now you can see that my score works perfectly right and we don't have the the score being displayed on the console window anymore great great that's what we wanted to do if you want to use another color you don't have to use the red color you could use here for example yellow or let's try pink or blue you can choose many colors all right now that we have our score being displayed inside the game let me just change this black to this back to red not black just because I prefer red because my spaceship is kind of red as well so that's good so now that we have our score text working inside the game we can go ahead and start adding a, a background to our game and to add a background you may think that that's uh, different than what we've seen so far but actually no so what is a background a background is an image that goes behind everything right so first let's get an image to use as our background so here on the sprites I'll add a new image and I can choose from here on the asset store a image from my background we have this green space background uh, let's see what else we have here uh, we have the pink space background we have the space nebula background and yeah that's it rock background that's not a background but we, I, I, I'm pretty sure you could use that as well so I'll go ahead and I'll use the space nebula background I think that's a good one so I'll just select it press on select asset and I have to give a name to this sprite I'll call it space press OK and here I have my space background and you can see that it's a bit different from the others right all the other images that we've been using are dot png but this one is dot jpg right so now everything that we ha we want to, to add on the game we need a class to do that 
So let's go ahead here and add a new class. Classes are capitalized, uppercase on the first letter, right? And I'll add the class background like this, press OK. And now I have my class background here ready for me to use it. So the class background, everything that it has is a sprite. So I can say self dot sprite equals sprite underscore nil and the name of the sprite that is space dot what jpg jpg nice i press play i still don't have my background inside the game because we haven't added the background on the game yet so let's go ahead here and add my background here so i can say that my game dot background so the background of my game will now be an object underscore nil from the class background like this so now pay attention what will happen when I press play I have my background my enemies are spawning but I cannot see my player I can see my bullets but I cannot see my player and I cannot see my scores as well so something's wrong here right that should not be happening so what is wrong so the problem is the background should be displayed behind everything but it's being displayed uh, in front of my player and in front of my score so why is this happening how can we fix that so the problem is that objects are created inside pixel pad in the order that we code them you can see that my player will be placed in the game and then later we'll place my spawner and then later we'll place my object text and then later we'll place my background on top of everything and this will hide my player so why is not my bullets, why aren't my bullets being hidden as well, or my enemies? Because the bullets and the enemies are created after the background. So when I press play my game, everything on the start tab here is created, including the spawner, for example. But then later, the spawner will create enemies just after, let's say, a second or two, right? You, if I press play, you can see the enemies start showing up after a second or so. So the enemies are created after the background. And the same for the bullet. If I press space to shoot something, then it will create my bullet, right? So it creates my bullet on top of the background. So the only thing we have to do to solve this problem is to take this background line here and put it at the top of everything. So I can delete this line from here. I go right on the top of my script. I add some lines and I go here before I create my player and before I create everything else in my game, game.background equals object underscore nil and the class called background. Now you can see that everything is placed correctly, right? Which is cool. All right, so that's it for today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Don't forget to save your games always right and i'll see you in the next video where we will be coding a power up for our game all right see ya